It's also been another busy day at the Olympics as Great Britain claimed the team eventing title for the first time in 49 years. There are also medals won by Team GB in the individual eventing and weightlifting competitions. Our reporter Ben Ransom has more on this from there. Team GB have won their 11th gold of Tokyo 10 2020. It came in the team eventing. It was a three disciplined event, the dressage, the cross country and then tonight the final show jumping rounds now in the team event team gb went into that final round in pole position and the riders delivered a gold medal the trio of tom McEwen, laura collett and oliver townend what an achievement specifically for laura collett in 2013 she had a heavy fall that left her with a spinal and shoulder fracture and in a coma for six days just to make it here at all is pretty staggering she's now an olympic champion and then once they'd had a little rest all of those riders went in the individual show jumping competition to finish off the eventing series and another medal was delivered tom McEwen, the youngest member of that team gb trio at just 30 years old he delivered a silver medal with a pretty flawless run a minor time penalty just cost him the chance of gold but even so, a tremendous achievement from the British equestrian team once again. And then, a matter of moments later, we saw another historic moment. This one was delivered in women's weightlifting. The first ever medal for Team GB in women's weightlifting, Emily Campbell. She let out a huge shriek as she managed to lift 161 in the final clean and jerk. She finished in the silver medal position. It was a remarkable achievement for Emily Campbell. As I say, historic. And it was a historic event for another reason, because for the first time at Olympic Games, an openly transgender athlete competed, Laurel Hubbard of New Zealand, but she failed to register a complete lift. Three attempts, didn't manage to register a lift in the snatch competition, and she was out with the DNF. So for Team GB, it took a little while to get some medals today, but ultimately it's been another good day. An 11th gold medal of these games two silvers takes them up to 35 in total. A good day as Ben says and elsewhere Great Britain progressed in the women's and men's team pursuit on the opening day of the track cycling. Team GB's women finished as second fastest qualifiers while the men's team were fourth quickest. Defending champions Great Britain progressed to the women's hockey semi-finals after a shootout win over Spain in the last eight. The game finished 2 all and went to penalties. Goalkeeper Maddie Hinch then saved all four of Spain's penalties as Team GB won the shootout 2-0 to reach the semi-finals. Team GB gymnasts Jessica and Jennifer Gadarova finished sixth and seventh in the women's floor final. The 16-year-old twins picked up a bronze medal each as part of the all-around team event last week. A US gymnast, Simone Biles, will compete in tomorrow's beam final in what will be her final chance of winning an individual medal at the Tokyo Games. Biles has not competed since last week's team final, where she performed on the vault, but no other apparatus before saying she wanted a break to protect her mental health. And the USA Gymnastics have tweeted to say, we are so excited to confirm that you will see two US athletes in the balance beam final tomorrow, Sunny Lee and Simone Biles. Can't wait to watch you both. Having Simone being back tomorrow is great. I'm really proud of her. She's been through a lot this Olympics, so it's going to be great to see her out there tomorrow. A lot of people look at someone who has reached the pinnacle of their career and they think the next one's actually easier because they've done it before, the pressure's off, the next one's a bonus. Well, actually, it just it works the opposite, and that's really hard mentally to deal with for any athlete. So, Simone, she's so she showed so much strength in terms of doing what she's done, made a decision that's right for her. Um, so, yeah, I no, wish her all the best.